place to put toenails in it. <laughs> right on the end of your feet where you can't reach them. <laughs> Come here. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at that little one there. Hiding behind all the others. Come out! <laughs> What's it for? Come out! Oh, God, who's that now? I'll bet it's for her upstairs. She won't answer, bloody lazy cow. <laughs> There's them watchtower people to get a mouthful. I'll give them bloody Jove, all right. Look! Hello, Mr. Garnet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at your surprise to see me. Only I was just passing and mrs garnet always said if ever you're passing pop in so here we are excuse me a minute <laughs> yes i'm afraid that we uh, we can't stay very long uh, just a few days that's all <laughs> just a few days yes yeah, this is my sister gwyneth hello <laughs> if you're speaking to me speak up speak up here. <laughs> You're not supposed to speak into that. It's us. We're the ones who's speaking to that. <laughs> I'm telling her. Anyway, I'm ever so glad that you're willing to put up with this for a bit. I knew you would. She said to me, I think we ought to write and ask Mr Garnet, and I said, no. I said, no, there is no need to write to Mr. Garnet. Not about a thing like that, I said. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Garnet are old friends. <laughs> this is Mr. Garnet. He's going to put us up for a few days. I'm putting you up. Yes, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here. Are we here, she says. Of course we're here. Where do you think we could be? <laughs> this is Mr Garney. Is this where we're going to stay? Look, you don't shout in my ear. Oh, you're the one who's deaf. <laughs> I know you from somewhere, don't I? <laughs> What's his name? Mr Garnet. I never forget a face, you know, but I can't think of his name. Never mind, it'll come back. I tell you what, watch my lips. Now, look here. This is Mr. Garnet. You remember him? <laughs> he used to live next door to me and my bird <laughs> when we lived in Wapping. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mr. Garnet. You remember him? He used to live next door to me and my Bert when we lived in Wapping. I never lived in Wapping. <laughs> it's you that lived in Wapping. You moved over there when you married your Bert. Yes, and Mr. Oh, I do, I do. <laughs> he reminds me of that chap who lives next door to you. <laughs> <laughs> that is my Are you? Are you the chap that lived next door to her in Wapping? <laughs> yes! <laughs> you see, I'll never forget a face. <laughs> I'll remember the name in a minute. Oh, dear. That is Mr Garnet. Yes, it is Mr Garnet. Oh, shut up a minute. I'm trying to think. Ah, that's it. Yes, that's the name. That's him. Garnet. That was the name, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Garnet. Mr Garnet. That's who he was. Do you remember him? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Garnet. Well, you couldn't forget him. He was a nasty bit of work. <laughs> he married a very nice woman, oh, though. Yes. She was a lovely lady. Mm. I can't think of her name. I can't think why she wanted to marry him. She could have done loads better without him. Else. Her name was Else. Mrs. Garnet. <laughs> That was her name. I said it would come back. 
I never forget a name, you know. <laughs> I may be a bit hard of hearing, but my memory's as good as ever it was. I never forget anything. Not like her. She forgets everything. She got a mind like a sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> she she forgets everything. She'd forget her own head if it wasn't screwed on. You forgot, Mr. Garnet. Pardon. <laughs> Don't whisper. If you had anything to say, let's hear it. <laughs> Mr. Garnet, you forgot. Forgot? What? What did I forget? I didn't forget anything. Listen, if you had as many things to remember as I've had to remember, you'd forget a few things. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten more things in my life than you could ever remember, so don't you tell me I forgot. <laughs> I'm ever so pleased to see you. <laughs> Forgive my glove. I've heard so much about you, you know. I'm quite thrilled at the thought of staying with you. Have you got a big house here? <laughs> oh, I'll see. <laughs> Now, don't apologise about anything, because I know when my Harold passed on, things was a bit difficult for me. But I learned to adjust myself and take things as they come along and not complain. Well, I never complained, did I, mean? No. Not at all. So, there you are. We all got to adjust ourselves just so and be grateful exactly and not get on each other's nerves and then if i'll be out myself you can go home <laughs> oh thank you sir i say you haven't introduced us <laughs> this is mr garnet no no not him not mr garnet the gentleman who lives here what's his name him it's Mr. Garnet, all you do make me cross. Come here, is that thing switched on? Well, how should I now? Let's have a see. Testing, testing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's OK. I switched it on now. Oh, it was switched off. <laughs> <laughs> then, what did you want to say? She wanders a bit. <clears throat> anyway, it's ever so nice to see you again, Mr Garnet, and you haven't changed a bit. Oh, neither of you. I'm talking to him, not you. <laughs> you can sit down there, rest your feet a bit. God, I wish she'd give her... Tongue arrest. I mean, the deafness I can cope with, but it's the constant jabber, jabber, jabber. That's what gets me down. Oi, 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 oi! Don't you start with me. <laughs> Funny how they get when they get old, eh? Oh, I hope it never happens to me. Oh, what do you mean? Get old? <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, Mr. Garnet. You're looking younger than ever. But then you always was a more virile man than my bird. I used to envy Mrs. Garnet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see, she's been lucky in marriage, she has. She's had a man to share her life. I have never known uh, that pleasure, Mr. Garnet. <laughs> <laughs> my Bert, God rest his soul, he was a good man. But he could, um, he could never awaken me. <laughs> no, not, not in the way a woman wants to be awakened, Mr. Garnet. I've often wondered, you know, what might not have happened, say, you and me had met unencumbered. <laughs> but you mustn't harbour thoughts like that, Mr. Garnet. It's not fair to Mrs. Garnet. I say. Eh? I know that face. <laughs> Puts me in mind of my Auntie Dolly. 
Did you know my Auntie Dolly? No, of course not, Mr Garney. Didn't know Auntie Dolly, did you, Mr Garney? Well, what's she doing then, hanging on his wall? Where? Here. That's the Queen, that is. <laughs> That's Prince Philip. Who? Her husband, Philip. Auntie Dolly was a married. <laughs> of course, there was talk of a man always is. Yeah. I say, I wouldn't blame her. He's a gorgeous looking brute. <laughs> Is that your bird? My what? word, he's put on a bit of weight there. <laughs> I wouldn't have recognised him. That's the best I've seen him look. <laughs> Must be Christmas. He's smoking a cigar. What's the matter with her eyes? It's Winnie, anyone can see that. That's never our Winnie. It is! <laughs> That's Winnie! That is not Winnie. Our Winnie was a lot more slimmer than that. So she never smoked cigars. Not <laughs> even at Christmas. She can't see, she can't hear, and she's got a bloody valve missing and all. Well, she's been ill, see. Nothing to worry about. It's just her brain, that's all. She's gone a bit funny in the head. But heart, lungs, legs, everything else, all in perfect working order, they are. <laughs> it's just that what is inside her head, it's not kept up, you see, her brain. It's not quite what it should be. But then that is no great loss, not at her age. I mean, it's good enough for what she needs, isn't it? I mean, some people, they got weak hearts, some have got weak lungs. Now, say she had had a weak heart, she could have got it transplanted. But they can't transplant heads, you see. Nice <laughs> <laughs> for her when they can, though. <laughs> Honey, I'm telling you, don't leave any matches laying around. She's set fire to our house three times already. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a nice place here, Mr Garnet. Oi, 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 come on out of it. Oh, that's a good idea. What? Bare feet. My feet are killing me. <laughs> I heard voices. <laughs> oh. You got someone here. Well, I see I'm intruding. No, no, look. Just a Come minute. Here. Just a minute. Where is Mrs. Garney? She's not here, is she? I can see that. Oh. And I know she's confined to a wheelchair. But bringing a trollop like that in here no. behind her. Oh, face. You don't understand. Oh, I understand all right, Mr. Garnet. There's nothing wrong with my brain. No, nah, look, it's not what you Ooh. think. Is he up to something? Well, I'm used to it. Oh, yes, let's hope it isn't Mrs. Garnet. No. But then, of course, she'd have her key. Look, the wait a minute, will ya? Bloody door down. Oh, it's you. Thank you. What a welcome. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, oh company. <laughs> Hello, Rita. Hello, Hello. Hello Joni. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise, eh? Well, it's nothing to the surprise your mother would have got if that had been her at the door. It's disgusting, I think. My mother? Yes. Did you told her? I can't get a word in his way. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see... She's left him. <laughs> Oh, we're all. Oh, there's no need for all that now. It happened months ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so upset that you could do this to her memory and her hardly at rest, poor woman. Oh. <laughs> Could you? And with her upstairs, foul your own nest. <laughs> I forgive you. I forgive you. I know. I know that men have to do these sort of things. <laughs> I know it's in their nature, but why couldn't you have waited? Why not let time go by?
He's still here. Wild horses wouldn't drag me away. <laughs> I wouldn't leave you now. Not if you took a whip to me. <laughs> Not now that you're in need. Need? What need? In need of what you've been missing, a woman's touch. What's that noise? It's Gwyneth. She's having a sleep. <laughs> she what? She's in your bed. <laughs> in my bed? She's not sleeping in my bed. She is sleeping in your bed. Listen to her. Driving a moon. Well, she can bloody well go up again. She's not sleeping in my bed. Can't disturb her now. Oh, I can disturb her now. Leave her for a while, Dad. Now, come, come and sit down here and have your dinner. Dinner? What? Lunchtime dinner? Yes. Sit down there. It's meat pudding. I've cooked it specially for you. It's your favourite. There. Here's your knife. <laughs> Here's your fork. I'll go get it for you. It's in the oven. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr Garnet. You're back. I've got dinner waiting for you upstairs. <laughs> He's got meat pudding here. Oh, he don't want that. I've got a nice roast for you upstairs, roast. Mr. Garnet. Yes, Yorkshire pudding, <laughs> baked potatoes. Look, I've got new potatoes and fresh garden peas. Yeah, yeah, I've got spotted dick and custard for you. <laughs> I've got apple pie and you want custard, I'll make you custard. Yeah. No, he's got custard waiting upstairs for him. <laughs> Mr. Garnet is staying down here with me to have his meat pudding and his potatoes and peas. Yeah. Oh, no, you're not, are you, Mr Garnet? Oh, yes, he is, aren't you, Mr Garnet? <laughs> <laughs> Mr Garnet would rather come upstairs with me and have roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Oh, yeah, no, know. he would not. <laughs> he would rather stay here with me and have meat pudding, new potatoes and fresh garden peas open. <laughs> In your meat pudding. Next door's dog can have it. <laughs> there. Mr. Garnet is having my roast beef. Oh, no, he is not. <laughs> Uh, there you are, Mr. Garnet. I've made you up a nice bed on the sofa. <laughs> sofa? I am not sleeping on a bloody sofa. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Garnet. I, I just thought I'd slip down and give you my subscription to your Prince Andrew Street party. Uh, that can wait till morning, can't it, Mr. Garnet? We were just going to bed. I didn't hear you knock. <laughs> we don't stand on formalities, do we, Mr. Garnet? I mean, it's not as though we're strangers. Yes, well, good night. Here you are, Mr. Garnet. <laughs> Would you like two pillows? I've oh, told one. you I am not sleeping on a bloody no. sofa. No! No, oh, come on. No, you don't want to sleep on the sofa. No, I don't no. want to sleep on the sofa. Good heavens, I should say not. Oh. Look, I mean, if they've taken up all your room, Mr. Garnet, I, mean, I can fix you up with a bed. In my spare room. No, you want to go dragging all the way up them stairs this time of night, do you, Mr. Garnet? Well, it won't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> when a man is hard up, I suppose. <laughs> Mr. Garnet doesn't need to be hard up ever. Yes, well, Mr. Garnet is sleeping down here tonight on the sofa. No, he's not, are you, Mr. Garnet? Oh, yes, he is, aren't you, Mr. Garnet? Oh, no, he's not. Mr. Garnet is not sleeping down here on your sofa. Mr. Garnet is sleeping down here in his own bed, no, in his own no. bed. Get out of bloody way! <laughs> <laughs> Sleep 
on a sofa or make your peace with Mrs. Ollenbury sleep upstairs in her spare room. I'm sleeping down here in my own bed, in my own bedroom. Good night. <laughs> Tea. Oh, Johnny, I'd love one, but I dursn't. No liquid after 4 p.m. <laughs> oh, well, I'll say good night. No! Good night. Gordon bloody Bennett, she's wet my bed! <laughs> If I'm incompetent, <laughs> men forgot to pack my liners. <laughs> Mrs. Oliveri. Yes. Camille. <laughs> Camille. Um, can I sleep in your spare room tonight? Certainly, Alfred. <laughs> come on, you. you can come upstairs with me. I'll see that you're comfy. <laughs> well, where's mine? What do you mean, where's mine? Where's my breakfast? We thought you'd be having yours upstairs with your lady love. <laughs> no! <laughs> Shut up, you silly fat cow! Shut up! <laughs> you don't deserve any. All the trouble you caused. Trouble I caused? I caused? You upset Min and Gwyneth. What do you mean I upset her? She's old, treating her like you did. Look! Oi, 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 that's mine! <laughs> Come here with it! You're like a bloody big tea. I'm like a bloody kid, that's mine! That's my fried bread! Oi, she's your sister. Do you teach her some bloody manners? Soggy soldiers. <laughs> Look, can't you do... <laughs> get over it, Steffi! <laughs> can't you do something about her old? She's bloody senile. <laughs> that will do something with people like her. Do something. Do what? I don't know, do I? She was all say bloody well shoot her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating that. She had her fingers all over that. Well, I'm not going to cook you anything else. Bloody women. <laughs> Sobbed a lot of them. Sobbed yourself. <laughs> a very virile man. <laughs> he is even more virile than what I had imagined him. <laughs> he must be because uh, her upstairs is in love with something about him. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Must be what made your mother stay with him all those years. Must I've often be. wondered, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I've never had that from a man. My Bert... Your Bert was a nice man. Oh, yes. Nice. He was a good man. But um, there was times when I could have wished him different. More friskier. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Rita, that you can't see your father, not how other women see him. He's a crude man, but that, um, well, that animal thing about him, what he's got. Animal thing? Yes. Pig. <laughs> what? It can be a pleasure. I'll say. <laughs> now it's too late, Rita. He's lost his head now to her. So I shan't come between them. I've got my sister to look after, see? Mm -hmm. I'm all she's got. <laughs> Is Mr Garnet here? Only I found some bunting for his street party. Oh, that's nice. Um, Mrs Ollingbury? Yes? You can have him. You can have him. I've made up my mind. <laughs> He's yours. I don't want to come between you. There's nothing between me and Mr. Garnet. He's yours now. I'll give him to you. <laughs> I shall take my broken heart and go back to Eastbourne with my poor sister. Oh, no. If, if you have a prior claim... We must forget the past. I'll back up, Mim. 
I want to go home. <laughs> give him to you. No, no, I give him to you. No, I give He's him... yours. You must take him with you. He's yours. No, he's not. He's yours. No! He... I am mine. I don't belong to either of you. You can clear off the pair of you. Bloody women. I'm surrounded by four bloody women and a black gay poster. <laughs> I'm going up French Cafe. Have my breakfast, it might cost me a few bob, but at least I'll be surrounded by men. Oh, aren't you the lucky one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel silly sitting here. You look silly sitting here. You said we was having a street party. We are having a street party. This is a street party. Well, where's the rest of the street? All at work where they ought to be. <laughs> it's not my fault, is it? If nobody down this street's got any feeling for royalty. In the old days, this street used to be famous for its street parties. Be famous again, Arthur. Went on five days for ye day, we did. Well, will this one will go on for five days. I'm not sitting here for five days. See, it's hard to have a street party with people like you. Ain't got no party spirit. No, if you want a better party. Look, let's get the decorations done first, then we'll open up the party spirit. Someone ought to try and get a piano going. That's the way to put life into a party. I know how to put life into a party. <laughs> but a piano helps. You should get a piano going. But we ain't got one, have we? It's a good instrument. I know it's a good instrument. Marvellous for a party. But only if you've got one! You can't have a proper party, not without a piano. <laughs> get that going and they'll all be out. Will you shut up about a bloody piano? <laughs> we ain't got one! <laughs> I'll pity you with his bloody hammer. <laughs> anyway, even if we did have a piano, what's the point? We've got nobody that can play it, have we? What about Marigold? What about Marigold? You're black. Well, we've had a lot of sun, ain't we? All you darkies got with them. It's just our luck. We've got the one darkie who's got no with them. <laughs> Winnie's used to play the piano. How can she play the piano? She's stone deaf. <laughs> Get off of me, you silly cow. <laughs> Mate, Avon was deaf, but he could play the piano. Nothing you could dance to, though. Nothing you could sing to. Will you shut up about the bloody piano? Well, I'm going to go and get my ghetto blaster. Lennon <laughs> <laughs> and, and Gwyneth are going. All right. Good riddance. Are you going to say goodbye to them? In a minute. They're going now. In a minute. <laughs> Oi, you! This is my tree! That is not your tree! It's on my side of the road! It's outside my house! Hey, what are you doing? Uh, move that table! Do you hear me? I'm talking to you. Move that table! Shut off! We're having a street party! Shut up! We, we don't want a street party here, thank you! I do! A vote was taken! And the majority voted not to have a street party, and you know that. This is a democracy, my friend, and the minority's got to be heard. And the minority was overruled. The Shut minority up. didn't want to be overruled. It is, it's a free country, and the minority wants to have a street party. Yeah, but the majority did not want to have a street party. The majority ain't having a street party. <laughs> Don't you stay for the wedding? No, no. Remind me too much of what might have been. Are we going home now? Yes, yes. Bye-bye, then. I'll tell Mr Garnet I'll see you. <laughs> I know someone who's got a oh. piano. <laughs>